If your love of designing and rendering by hand is a big part of why you became an architect, then welcome back to Procreate for Architects. Have you ever needed a good looking rendering in a very short time for a very important meeting? As an architect and professional renderer, my clients do all the time. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some tools and techniques that I use to deliver simple, attractive renderings that get the job done in the least amount of time. Ready? This is Pier 76 on the West Side Highway in New York City. And my clients asked me to do a rendering of a, an alternate reuse project based on a single photograph they had of the interior of the garage. So my first step was to create a better background photo by cloning parts of this photo in perspective in Photoshop, then tracing some of the parallel lines in the photo in red so I could find the vanishing point and set up Procreate's Perspective Drawing Assist. Once I found the vanishing point, it made it easier to trace some of the more important beams and perimeters of the room. And then I could draw freehand over that layer of red guidelines. This was important to give me the freehand look I was looking for, a friendly and less realistic rendering style that leaves the architect's options open. The next step was to import and place the entourage and figures, trees, that kind of thing. And I do this through a combination of just importing entourage that's already cut out and selected and importing images that I remove the background from using the automatic selection tool. Once all the entourage is imported, I'll shrink it down, push it around, and make the best composition I can to show the kind of excitement and activity going on in the space. Now this is all fine so far, but it only gets us halfway there because we have to use a technique to get the entourage to look consistent with the line drawing technique. So I'm going to select the technical pen, make a few practice strokes to get the right line width, and then I'm going to trace the entourage, making sure to close the gaps in the ink line that I trace so I can fill it easily with color later. This is an important point to mention because if you do close the gaps, then Procreate will let you drag and drop a color into any area of a drawing. Whereas if you don't fill the gaps, the color will leak out of the area you've tried to define and leak into the background. Trees and plants are another important part of entourage. And again, you can either import them from a sheet of pre-selected entourage or what I like to do in Procreate is make them from scratch using the number 25 rad brush in my curated brush selection. Just following the normal structure of a tree with a brush and then adding a pen stroke to pick out the profile of the tree so it matches the rest of this rendering style. So once all the profiles of the people and trees are completed, there's just a few things left to do. One is to select these groups of people individually and go ahead and color them underneath the line drawing. Now remember that each of these groups consisted of three layers. There was the line drawing itself, the gray area that we used to fill it, and the color area on top of the gray area. And the reason for that is because the gray area allows you to select the area and then create a new layer on top and then color that layer any way you want. So here I'm selecting the gray area. I'm going to the new layer on top. I'm going to switch to the soft brush and choose a skin tone. And you can see I can just apply that skin tone to the gray itself. I don't have to be too careful because this is a simple and loose drawing, but it's a very quick way to make sure I don't go out of the lines and I only have to use just enough color to get that flat rendering effect I'm after. Now I'm going to add an overall lighting effect to this rendering, something very fast, very effective. And this is basically done by creating a new layer, switching that layer to multiply mode and filling that layer with a kind of a blue violet twilighty color and then selectively erasing away from that layer to make sure that the areas of daylight are brightest. In this case, the area around the fireplace is bright and where the various indoor lights fall on the people and the entourage, there'll generally be a halo of light around them, which I think looks great against the shadows that you put under the people. 
If you have become an architect because of your love for designing and rendering by hand, then I hope you'll check out the video I made about the brushes I use as an architect using Procreate, and also this video about the grid templates and scale rulers that I've created to help architects create scalable drawings in Procreate. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you next time.